I'm going to show you how to polish a scratch out of an acrylic dome port. On my last trip, I put quite a nasty scratch in this big dome port here, you can see. Just running my fingernail over it, it's quite deep, and I need to get rid of that. So I've just been to the hardware store, um, and I've bought a bunch of things that I can use to do that. So I've got different grades of abrasive papers here, which I'll talk about in a little while. A, sand, a sanding block, so that's kind of a, a firm a sponge sanding block. Um, a bowl of water, some brass metal polish, and a soft microfiber cloth. Like I say, all these things you just get from any hardware store. This is the scratch I'm going to work on just here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of these uh, pieces of uh, abrasive paper. If you look on the back of these abrasive papers, you see the little P number there, and there's a number next to it. This is P360. And I've got a P600 and a P1200. The higher the number, the finer the abrasiveness is, the finer the, the grit is on the paper. So I'm going to start off with the most abrasive, the P360, which is kind of a, a, a middle range fine paper. So the reason I'm using a soft foam sanding block is when I uh, rub around the scratch there, it's going to mould to the shape of the port and it's going to make make sure the surface stays nice and curved. If I just use my fingers or something hard and rub on there, I'm going to rub a a divot in the port which is not going to be very nice it's going to leave like a you know a, 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 a rut in the port so we need to try and keep that nice and smooth and round. I'm going to put that on the nice uh, sanding block and I'm going to give that just in the water. This is designed to be used wet this kind of paper wet and dry paper is what it's called so I'm just going to use nice circular motion all over that scratch. I'm not going to try and keep it too local to the scratch because I don't want to like I say rub a flat spot or a divot into the port I just want to move all around quite locally there and it's going to look a lot worse before it gets better, so you just need to be brave. And I can kind of almost see straight away that scratch is nearly gone. And just use your fingernail just to rub over where the scratch was, just to see. I can still feel it a bit there. Just keep the, the paper nice and moist. Pretty sure that scratch is starting to go now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch now to the middle range um, abrasive paper. So this is going to be the the P600, which is uh, quite a bit finer than the P360. And this is now going to what I'm going to try and do here is is polish the port back to a nice shiny finish. So with the the 600 grade, I'm just going to rub around all the scratches I've just made with the coarser grade paper. Finally, I'm going to rub over with the P1200. So this is a very, very, very fine grade of paper. So I think I'm almost ready to start polishing it now with the polish. I'm going to give that a dry off with this cloth. So you can see there's still a bit of a, um, a bit of a matte sort of uh, finish there on there from that fine grade paper, but that's not a problem. We're going to get rid of that in a moment. So the final stage is a nice soft microfiber cloth. Try and use a new one if you can, straight out of the packet so you know there's no sand or grit or anything on it that's gonna scratch the port. And then some of this um, brass uh, metal polish. So this is an extremely fine, mildly um, abrasive polish. And that will just take out all those fine scratches that are now remaining on the port and bring it back to a nice glossy clear finish. All right, so I've been polishing this now for probably three or four minutes. It's starting to feel nice and smooth and look nice and shiny, so I think we're pretty close. I'm just gonna polish off that excess metal polish there, and there we have it, what scratch, ready to hit the water again as good as new. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please leave me a comment. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.